Welcome! E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's OGC here. Today is a special day. First of all, we have a live stream tonight during maintenance, so feel free to come by. We should have a bunch of people stopping by. Today is a special day for two reasons. First and foremost, it's my birthday. Hey, why not? Um, also, since it's my birthday, that means it's the second specialist day. I got to do exactly what I wanted to do for my birthday. For my birthday, all I want to do is put KVG out there as a here uh, like a player spotlight for Blood Moon and show off some of her skills because she is a fantastic player. So what we're going to do is we are going to go over KVG and her profile for Blood Moon. So KVG has 6.3 million core power. Mega Whale. Mega Whale, in my opinion, insanely strong player, plays well above her her core power against pretty much everybody, and and if you're ever going to be in a war, this is the type of player that you want on, on your team. Uh, it's not just a number, it's a play style, and she does it perfectly. She is a level 47 dwarf at the time of recording this. Uh, she has 330, that, that's her highest research, and that's in her snipers, so her snipers will probably do a lot of damage. Three, she has 341 million honor, which is ridiculous, and a tower score currently um, at uh, 300, oh, I'm sorry, 3,962, uh, and we're like halfway through the season, so she's probably going to finish in the top 100 in the world, uh, well above 42, 43, maybe even 4,400 points in the dual tower. She is insane. Let's go check out some of her replays. So this is KDG going up against a Lich player who is also 6.3 million core power. When we take a peek at uh, Katie's Dragon, she has Noble Blood, Scales, Frost Nova, Primal, Primal Will, uh, Blessing Swell, Pulse, and Hero Predation. Of course, the Dragonics are just ridiculous. The Lich player that she is going up against is running with an Azul Dragon, which is uh, pretty unique for, for Lich. They are going with Cosmic Storms, uh, Blessing, Swell, I'm assuming Pulse as well, Frigid Scales, Nova, uh, there, there's the Pulse, Noble Blood, and Hero Predation. And for their Dragon, they are really, really high with Dragonic. When we look at the stats for, for everything, it looks like KDG, uh, her Bazrix and her Nora went absolutely ridiculous. And also, it's good to point out here that the uh, Lich player is using level 17 troops, meaning they just ha have like absolutely ridiculous stats. Um, really, really good, like 8-star equipment. Anyways, let's jump in and let's see uh, how KDG does in this fight. So it looks like uh, Kitty has a top side power side. Uh, Lich player uh, has quite a few heroes in that top side. Tons of warlocks on the bottom side. Kitty opens up with the uh, uh, Raxius side going off. And now it looks like uh, the enemy Azul Dragon is moving up uh, pretty far. Her, her Nora is able to do a bunch of damage. She jumps in deep with her Rufio to stun up all of those uh, warlocks. The enemy's Azul Dragon end up doing their protection proc. Uh, Katie's dragon is still doing completely fine. Uh, the Lich player now targets Katie G's uh, Azul dragon. All the warlocks are hitting it. Protection goes off. Um, tons of damage from the warlocks. They they are insane. It's like the, the protection proc doesn't even matter. KG does her Denji, so she should be able to drop all of those warlocks in that top side. The Ring of Rhydenir black holes are out on both sides. Katie drops the uh, Origin Stone down on her dragon. There's still the targeting on it. The enemy dragon is about half health. Um, I'm sorry, they are at a sliver of health. So Katie lost her dragon and she should be able to take out the enemy Azul dragon uh, momentarily to kind of balance everything out. Katie has just about uh, wiped the, the top side, um, but it looks like something happened to her Denji uh, and now the enemy warlocks are all targeting her Belrog. Her Nora moves up, and if the Nora can do one, one of the big cluster bomb things, they, it should be able to take out all of the Warlocks. But the Warlocks took down the Nora. Now the Warlocks are starting to come down, down towards the bottom. Katie is doing fine going up against the Skeletons. The Mechs will win it in the long run. Um, there's targeting down now on KG's Ophidius, who drops. The enemy still has their, their Ophidius up. Katie's Jax is going uh, absolutely huge, and her Jax is able to hit the backline heroes. Drops uh, Ophidius uh, one time, about to do it for, for a second time. The Warlocks on the top are starting to move down. In the bottom side, the mechs are doing a fantastic job chopping away at all of those uh, 
filthy skeletons, and uh, Katie's tracks is actually going to clear out everything on the top side. So it, it looks like it worked out pretty, pretty well for her. The warlocks and everything in this bottom portion are now just going up against Max. It's a rel relatively standstill, um, however the Max will win it in the long term. So, we'll speed this up just a little bit towards, towards the end, and KDG's Jax is able to just pump out enough damage, add enough uh, proper targets where she's able to walk away with the win. So, for the uh, 6.3 mil, uh, 5 symbol person, great job, KDG, amazing job. So now, we have KDG, who is 6.3 million core power, going up against a 7 million core power dwarf player. We saw KDG's dragon, let's check out the dwarf player's dragon. They are going with a ruby dragon, which is surprisingly dangerous, especially with the conflagration, or whatever that skill is, along with uh, Cosmic Storm, Magic Swell, Energy Pulse, and, uh, the Scales, Arcane Blessing, um, and then they also have the Arcane Scales, interesting, in Hero Predation. They have uh, 159 in all of their Dragonics, so this dude is no joke. Like, if we take a peek at their Sniper's Attack, uh, they have 1.5 million damage, 9 star equipment, that is just ridiculous. Absolutely insane. When we look at these stats, it looks like uh, KD won in both Might and Command. Uh, the enemy won uh, a pretty decent bonus for Stamina and Magic. Let's go check this out and let's see how KDG did this. So it looks like it's uh, Power Side versus Power Side on the, this bottom portion. Um, we have the uh, Raxius Suns coming out right, right at the beginning. Um, and it looks like uh, the Azul Dragon is doing pretty well so far. The Ruby Dragon is also up. There's a Rufio leap in on uh, Katie's snipers on that bottom portion. Katie leaps her Rufio in behind the Ruby Dragon to really shut down some of their attack. KDG collapses the bottom side, which is huge because now her Jax, her snipers, and her Azul Dragon can move up. Protection proc goes off for the Azul Dragon. The Ruby Dragon is still pretty much at full health. The enemy used the Black Hole on all of KDG's snipers. And the Azul Dragon is starting to drop wicked low. They're down to a sliver. The enemy Ruby Dragon just uh, did their protection proc, uh, which that's so much CC that's coming out against KD snipers. First, you had the, the Black Hole, followed by um, the protection proc that does into the Ring of Ragnar. Um, anyways, Katie's Dragon ended up surviving through all of this, and the Snipers, uh, Jax and Nora, um, along with the Dragon, were able to drop the, the power side uh, for Red Panda. So, uh, amazing job, Red Panda. You did uh, fantastic. Uh, KDG absolutely crushed it as per usual. Next, we have a human player who is 6.6 .6 million core power going up against KDG. They are running with an Onyx Dragon. This Onyx has the Scales, Swell, Blessing, uh, Energy Pulse. Uh, external Void, Gravitational Surge, and Cosmic Storm. So this is pretty much identical to my Dragon, but instead of Fatal Blows, they have Cosmic Storm. Uh, and for the Dragonic, really high. Just, just really high. So it looks like in this, Katie actually lost in all stats. And the enemy Nora did 85 million damage. Katie's Nora did 71 million. Enemy's Dragon just did insane damage at 81 million. So let's go jump in. Let, let's see how KDG did, did in this fight. And it looks like it is her power side versus more or less the enemy's soul side. Uh, the enemy starts off with a nice uh, earthquake deep on KDG. She does her Raxius procs. Um, and... The bottom side, so it's the archers and, and the Nora and everything going up against Katie's mechs, so hopefully her mechs can, can hold the line, so to speak. And on the top side, now that uh, now that most of the black holes and everything is off, now her snipers can get busy uh, at work. Her Denji is doing a bunch of spins, which is going to do a significant amount of damage to all of those uh, swordsmen. Although these swordsmen are still super tanky, it's, it's absolutely wild. Black holes coming out everywhere from the external void, which is just going to slow down the uh, press from uh, KDG. Looks like the bottom side, she's still tanking up uh, very well. Uh, top side, she's starting to now get some of the swordsmen uh, groups a little bit lower. Uh, you can see the one right in front of the enemy Onyx Dragon for the human uh, group is dropping really low. There is now a targeting down on KDG's Azul Dragon. Tagging an Azul Dragon is a very risky thing because if you kill it, that's amazing. If you can't kill it, then you pretty much just uh, shot yourself in the foot. So KDG is now pressing forwards. Uh, both of the top two Swordsman packs are getting uh, even more lower. Uh, she's able to press forwards in this top section. On the bottom side, it looks like uh, she has... Out of her three packs of mechs, it looks like health-wise, uh, she's down to like one and a half. So she still has half strength for mechs. But on the top side... 
she's still fine. Like she still has a bunch of um, a bunch of snipers alive. She still has a pack of max up there, and her her stall side is still stalling out pretty well. Important to note, in all of this time, her Azul Dragon is still up. That means all of the DPS from those archers that, that are hitting her dragon, or actually hitting the max in front of her dragon, it hasn't been used to kill off uh, the, the important things such as snipers and or the Azul Dragon which has the targeting on it. Ring, Ring of Ride near Black Hole just ended, uh, and it looks like KDG is jumping in with her Rufio as uh, Nora does her Cluster Bomb into all of the archers in the back line. So the human archers are going to be uh, crumbling momentarily. The Onyx Dragon goes down. Azul Dragon still full health with the targeting on it. Bomb size, she's still actually able to tank it out, which is just so impressive from, from her mechs. Uh, she, KDG does the, the dab emoji, and the enemy does the uh, jacks picking his nose. Uh, now the enemy has uh, all of their troops moving up to the tagged Azul Dragon. Um, Katie does the thumbs up because uh, great sportsmanship. And it looks like now it's just going to be finished off. So to the five symbol person, really, really good fight. KDG, this is absolutely epic. And for this last fight, it looks like a three symbol player going up against KDG. Three symbol player is uh, playing Rockin' and uh, ha has seven star equipment and stuff like that. Uh, as far as the onyx um, that they have, they have Swell, Blessing, Pulse, Scales, External Void, Cosmic Storm, uh, Three Hole Punch, and the Hero Predation. So this is just like the dragon that we just saw with really, really high dragonic. When it comes to the stats, it looks like KD won in both Might and Command, Enemy won in Magic and Stamina. You can see that KD's Bazrix uh, did a ton of damage, so I'm assuming her Bazrix lived for a little bit. Now let's jump in and let's see how this goes. Um, okay, so it actually looks power side versus power side as far as like the heroes and, and dragons and everything. Um, Kitty has a wall of mechs out there. She starts off with, with the uh, Raxius. Um, really good start in my opinion. Uh, I do the same exact thing. She has uh, snakes coming out from the uh, Ophidiuses and Kitty jumps in uh, deep with her Rufio. That, that's a super deep jump, uh, trying to stun up all of those archers in that top portion. Enemy Dragon has nothing protecting it. It's just standing in the front line uh, in front of all of the uh, snipers. External Void's coming out, which is going to slow down the snipers a little bit. Katie's Dragon is still at full health. She's actually going with an Onyx. We forgot to go over this, but her Onyx is identical to mine. So it has the three holes, uh, the External Void, Fatal Blows, the three damage skills, the uh, Pulse, Magic Swell, and Blessing, along with Hero Predation. Way better drag onyx than mine. Anyways, she's able to take out the enemy's onyx in that top portion. Her Jax is now doing the Spray and Pray, which should clean up everything. Uh, her Nora is still up, which is able to just take out the backline heroes. Um, now her Jax takes out the enemy Jax, and now it is just clean up on this bomb side. So to the three symbol player, fantastic job, man. You did amazing. KDG, this is just epic. Straight up epic. So I'm very happy to say that, that KDG is in Blood Moon. I'm super happy. Uh, this is one, one of those players that I've been looking forward to actually playing with for a very long time. Uh, she's definitely much more of a veteran when it comes to war than I am and probably mo most of the people here. Um, but she's a stand-up person, a, uh, a good friend, a supporter of the, the channel, and a absolute monster on, on the battlefield. So, KDG, thank you for being with us in uh, Blood Moon. Um, I hope you enjoyed the uh, player spotlight. Remember, tonight, guys, we're, at, we're going to have the live stream. Uh, it's going to be during maintenance, uh, so it's going to be for about two hours. We're going to try and have on some uh, some multiple personalities to ask them questions about the game, talk about the update and, and all that other beautiful stuff. Uh, also, in the description of this video and all videos, we have some great stuff like our Facebook page, Discord, uh, merch store, Patreon page. The best thing you guys can do to support the channel, check out the Patreon page. Thank you to all the Patreons out there. Thank you to KDG. She's like an honorary Patreon. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys tonight. I hope you have a fantastic day. Uh, take care.